Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So, um, yesterday we kind of got going and then sort of got stuck, if I can put it that way. Uh, we still do have a, a measured move target to the upside there, but I think one thing that is a little bit worrying, if you look to the left, you can see the structure here, and that is what's holding us up. Uh, look at the oscillators at the moment, all grouped to the upside, a uh, bit of a hanging man, engulfing pattern. At the moment, we are pretty much sideways, so there's nothing really to add to that. We did get a half-decent trade off structure that I gave you yesterday, which was this one, 35.070. Um, didn't quite stretch down to the next level, but we did get something off here. <clears throat> didn't really break above the previous weekly high. So that is always going to be a level. So your previous week's high and low and open and close are always going to be a little bit of structure. Wasn't much in the... In the line of uh, earnings yesterday, I think it was only two companies that uh, had earnings. Today, we've got a couple of big ones coming through. So, uh, yeah, I think we must just wait and see. Bit of divergence here on the hour as well. We've got a, a double top on price and then oscillators making a lower low. So, for me, yesterday was sideways. We are still sideways at the moment. Uh, structure we need to pay attention to this uh, 35,070 area. Definitely need to pay attention to that. And to the upside, we need to worry about 35.323. So we need to break above 35.323. Then we have a measured move target up here at 35.652. Uh, now that's the, the bullish view of this. Uh, we could also just pull back into this zone here for another attempt to, to build a base and, and move up. So uh, it is sideways. Yesterday was a bit of a, a down and up day. Nothing really that we can write home about. I mean... Okay, it was 200 points, so it's a fairly decent trade. I mean, for me, anything over 100 points is a decent trade. So that was a fairly decent trade, but at the moment, I think uh, we need to just be very careful of what's going on. So uh, wait for structure, and I think uh, the longer it goes sideways in these small moves that's happening now, the bigger the breakout is going to be. So 15-minute chart is my advice at the moment. Um, you can see a bit of a triangle forming on the 15-minute here. There's your one leg down, your leg up. So there's your triangle. Oscillator is giving you nothing, no indication at all. Um, be wary of these gaps. Look there. There's a gap. Uh, I think that one closed. There's another gap there. That's a gap there. Don't, uh, gaps don't close with tails as far as I'm concerned. So um, there are a couple of gaps to downside. So logic says to me, more than likely, uh, either sideways or a squirt down to come and find some support on the 155 EMA, which would close these gaps and then build a base off that. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what Europe brings for us today. But uh, I have a feeling we're just waiting for the rest of the earnings season to really kick off, which will be today. Anyway, um, I'm sitting on hands until we either come back to test the bottom and get some, uh, some price action indicates we need to buy or we get a break of 35.323. Um, that's basically the two scenarios I'm waiting for. Anyway, I hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.